This is The Lockpicking Lawyer, and today we're going to look at one of the greatest lock design blunders of all time. This is the Kaba Simplex Series 1000. It was sent to me by Michael in Pennsylvania. Presumably he is somewhere near Pittsburgh. It's a very expensive lock used in a lot of commercial and government applications. I've personally seen variants of this at the entrances to secured areas in airports, police stations, and courthouses. And why they use them is clear. They are very easy to operate with the push-button combination mechanism. There is no key required, they're very durable, and they were thought to be very secure. But what users didn't know was that up until 2011 or 12 when the design was changed, this lock contained an egregious design flaw that allowed anyone to open it in mere moments using a small but powerful rare earth magnet. Let me show you just how bad it is. Okay, if we look at this right now, you can see I'm turning the knob and this mechanism is not retracting the bolt. However, if I were to take this magnet, put it right here on the side of the lock, you can see now the bolt is retracting. I'll take that off. The bolt does not retract. Put it back on and the bolt does retract. Okay, let's open this up and see why that works. I already took off most of the screws. We should just have two to take this back off. Okay, if we look on the inside, we can see this flap of steel. My understanding is that it was intended to be pushed aside with a thumb turn on the secure side of the door, and that would disable the combination mechanism so the door would remain unlocked. Unfortunately, it can also be pulled aside with a magnet. And if we look at this piece right here, you can see that is turning right now. If I were to take ma the magnet away, it no longer turns, and this mechanism collapses in on itself. Again, let's put this back, and you can see it turns, remove the magnet, and it does not turn. So, I should also mention that after a lawsuit, Kaba did produce parts kits that would fix this issue, and it's a good bet that they were used in some of the higher security applications. However, it's probably also a good bet that there are a lot of these locks still in use with this vulnerability. In any case, that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments about this, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day. Thank you.